Hi guys, it's Michelle and today's video is going to be all about the Free Britney case. Basically, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I've been following and talking about this case for a few years now and it has just been so insane and thankfully Britney Spears is now free so I wanted to do a video just like kind of explaining what that means and what's probably going to happen next. Before we get into it, I just wanted to be like, sorry, <laughs> I haven't posted in like a minute and my schedule's been kind of chaotic. Basically, I've been moving houses because the lease was up in my other house in LA, so I was just moving to a new place in LA. It was just really stressful to move, honestly. Now I am back in Florida for the holidays um, before I go back to LA and to have to deal with unpacking all of the boxes that I just kind of threw in my room. So yeah, that was just a little update for you guys. And also while I'm uploading this video, there will be a new what I eat in a day, like my first one on my weight loss channel. So I will link that below as well if you guys want to go check that out. So let's get into what happens after Britney Spears has been freed. If you don't know, for the past 13 years, Britney Spears has been under a very strict conservatorship as most of you probably know. To break it down for those who don't know what a conservatorship is, it basically meant that Britney Spears was under complete lock and key by her father, Jamie Spears. She was put into this conservatorship in 2008 after her infamous breakdown. A lot of people were concerned with Britney's mental health and the conservatorship ended up being what came of that. So what is a conservatorship? Under US law, conservatorship is the appointment of a guardian or a protector by a judge to manage the financial affairs and or daily life of another person due to old age or physical or mental limitations. I really want to reiterate that conservatorships are for people who literally cannot make basic life decisions on their own. I think this is very important to note because obviously we know Britney Spears for the past 13 years has been working. It's not like she has just been in the middle of nowhere doing nothing. She's been working nonstop pretty much with albums, tours, and residency shows in Las Vegas. This girl has been on it. So it was always, you know, concerning to a lot of people that she was under this conservatorship because, like I said, a conservatorship are for people who literally cannot make basic life decisions. And if you're wondering what that means, let's talk about some of the rules that Britney Spears has had to endure over the last 13 years. Basically, her father must dictate where she lives. She was not able to decide or move anywhere without his permission. Her father also dictated where she ate, who she was allowed to hang out with, whether or not she was allowed to leave her house, where she was allowed to go to, and so many more things. It was just overall very concerning. She was also unable to purchase anything while she was under this conservatorship. She also wasn't allowed to buy anything while she was under this conservatorship without her father's permission. She wasn't allowed to get married or have more kids. In fact, she actually had an IUD implanted and was not able to take it out. I think that was one of the most like extremely hard things to hear when Britney Spears was allowed to testify because for the past 12 years, 13 years, she was not allowed to testify. Finally, in June of 2021, she did testify, and I think this is what a lot of people heard her talk about. And she talked about how she had an IUD, which is a form of birth control, if you guys don't know, that was in her uterus, and she requested to have it removed, but they wouldn't let her. Which to me, I'm not even sure how that's legal. Among all these rules, Britney Spears was also not allowed to drive a car and also not allowed to drink alcohol. I truly think the conservatorship is a lot worse than what we even could imagine. I think what we've heard that Britney Spears has had to go through for the past 13 years is truly only scraping the surface and it might not be something that we'll ever know but we're going to talk about that in a bit. I think the Free Britney movement which kind of really started in 2019 was what got Britney out of this conservatorship because essentially a lot of judges, a lot of lawyers have been dealing with conservatorships for their whole careers and I've heard many people, many lawyers, say that they have never seen a conservatorship end. I think that Britney Spears' personal testimony and the public being allowed to hear that is what really opened people's eyes to how bad this conservatorship is for Britney Spears. I also think that her personal testimony was a huge turning point in this case and probably the reason why she is free today. So before we talk about what happens next, I want to talk about how this went on for so long. I think this is a question a lot of people are asking because obviously Britney Spears, we look at her as someone who is definitely capable of being able to drive a car or 
choose to who she hangs out with. Simple things like that go for a walk. But with this conservatorship, she's not allowed to do any of those things without her father's permission. Because let's talk about the things that Britney Spears has done over the past 13 years while she was under this conservatorship. Under the conservatorship, Britney Spears released four studio albums. She had three world tours that grossed over $330 million. She did several events like Jingle Ball, I Heart Radio Music Festival, Billboard Music Awards, New Year's Rock and Eve. And not to mention she also had several television show appearances during this time, including How I Met Your Mother, Glee, Jane the Virgin, and of course she spent a lot of time as a judge on X Factor, which that was a deal that was over $15 million. You're probably asking yourself the same question that a lot of us are asking, which is how is Britney Spears capable of making literally hundreds of millions of dollars by touring, being on TV shows, making albums, etc but she's not capable of deciding what she can eat or where she wants to live or even driving. Like how did a judge, her father, and several attorneys get away with that? And now let's go into conspiracy theories as to how I think that this happened. I think there's a lot of theories, but I mean, one stands out pretty simply to me and I think it's actually really scary if you think about it, but it's just money. I think once Britney was under the conservatorship in 2008, that maybe was an easier thing to do because obviously in 2008, she was going through a really, really hard time and public was concerned about her health and her mental health. And I just think it wasn't really surprising that she could have gotten into a conservatorship at that time. However, every single year, the conservatorship is reviewed by a judge and renewed essentially it's been for the past 13 years but the second that the conservatorship started in 2008 her dad had access to britney's bank account so essentially for the past 13 years britney spears has been paying attorneys who were literally fighting against her and keeping her in this conservatorship. And I think that that is the key to what happened. I'm just saying allegedly, this is what I think. This is a theory. I'm not saying that this is real, but I think that it's definitely possible that Jamie Spears knew and hired some very, very snaky attorneys who were able to get this done in front of a judge who maybe was a snake as well. I don't know. And were able to do this because they were had access to Britney Spears' net worth, which was over $60 million. I feel like it's no secret that, you know, money and power can get you what you want. Because I essentially think that Jamie Spears potentially really got the perfect lawyer team and had them go with the like scummiest judge and all of this stuff in order to keep Britney in this conservatorship. I truly do not see how a judge was able to just look at all of the facts of this case and decide that she still needed to remain in a conservatorship. I honestly don't get it. It is very hard to get out of a conservatorship in general, but especially if your person who's trying to keep you in this conservatorship has access to a $60 million net worth. And I just think that honestly, that's not good. Probably the reason why she was able to be kept in this conservatorship for so long. I truly believe that the only reason that Britney is free is because of the public standpoint from the Free Britney movement, I truly, truly believe this. I think that this made a huge difference in this case because I think that it would have just been swept under the rug because of how much money was going into it. I mean, just think about it. For like 10 years before people were even talking about it, she was completely just in this conservatorship, same rules, same hell that she was living, and no one was really talking about it until like 2019. And so once people started talking about it, I just think that in theory, the judges couldn't ignore it anymore and couldn't keep taking Britney's money. I don't know though. I mean, I'm not a judge or an attorney, but that's just my theory on it because I seriously don't understand how this has been reviewed every single year after year for the past 13 years. And then suddenly when the media starts talking about it, that's when she gets free. You know what I mean? I think that this, movement had a lot to do with why she was free. Especially I think that the movement had a huge part in why Britney was finally able to testify as well. Because the fans wanted to hear from her, the public wanted to hear from her, and honestly the public just got too loud and I think that the judges and the attorneys couldn't ignore it anymore and it would have looked really suspicious if they did. And I just think like the Free Britney movement as well was expedited of course by social media and I think social media today is obviously not what it was in 2008 and I feel like this could have never happened in 2008 or 2000 even to up until probably 2014 or 2013 or so. And once social media became such a huge part of this case is truly the reason that she's free. So you might be thinking, what does it mean that Britney Spears is freed from this conservatorship? What happens next? For all of the rules that I listed of things that she couldn't do, she can now do them uh, without 
anything to do with her father. She is now in control of her own finances, all of that stuff, which is really, really great. The world is literally her oyster. It actually made me so happy to see Britney Spears posting about this. And she was posting about her um, wanting to have another baby. And she wants to marry her boyfriend who she's been dating for a really long time. And she just is so happy. It's so good to see her so happy about this. But legally what happens next? Probably a lot of suing. Britney Spears definitely has the right to sue a lot of people right now, including her parents, the attorneys that were keeping her under this conservatorship, perhaps the judges. I could definitely see that happening in the future, but as for Britney Spears working, she now gets to choose whether or not she wants to sing again or she wants to work again. That's completely up to her and I feel like we should all respect her decision because she's obviously been forced to work or to not work you know it was completely up to her dad what opportunities she took and which ones she didn't so it would be really interesting to see if she does decide to keep working or if she wants to just live a life you know with her new husband hopefully soon maybe having more kids it just depends and i think that that will probably all play out over the next couple months slash years i'm so happy that britney spears has finally been freed but i truly do hope she gets justice as well for the people who have been keeping her in this conservatorship because honestly like it's seriously so messed up the more you look into it the scarier it is and that's only the stuff that we do know I'm sure there were so many more moving parts to this conservatorship of stuff that we probably couldn't even imagine and it's just awful that she was kept like this for 13 years and I'm just sure she's gonna sue everyone's asses but she might choose not to do so what do you guys think about the free Britney movement I am super excited for Britney Spears to see what she does next or to not see what she does next maybe she just won't want to post anymore but either way I am so happy that she has finally been freed from that terrible situation and I don't know. I'm just like absolutely so happy for her. Yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this situation. How do you think she was kept in the conservatorship for so long? That is it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram because I'm always posting really dope ass shit on there. Subscribe for new videos every week and definitely go check out my weight loss channel as well. But yeah, definitely subscribe for new videos every week and I will see you guys later. Bye.